What's up, Jamers? It's the one Jamin. Today we are playing in the early access event, and we are playing with a brand new card, King of the Oathbreakers, which is, makes me very excited. We are playing Esper Spirits. We're playing um, this card, which is a four mana three three Spirit Noble. It has flying. Whenever this or another spirit you control becomes a target of a spell, it phases out. So our, all of our opponents' removal spells basically don't work unless they have two of them. Whenever this or another spirit you control phases in, create a tapped one one White Spirit creature token with flying. So it makes a bunch of tapped spirits, and we don't have anything in our deck to target our own things, but we are going to make a bunch of spirits off our opponent's removal spells, and they're going to need a lot of them, because we do have a lot of spirits in this deck, a lot of ways to pump them, and even Hallowed Haunting to keep making more token spirits when we can, and we're probably not going to have seven or more enchantments in this deck, unless we have Kami of Transmutation, which is a spirit that also makes all the cards in our hand enchantments perpetually. So we don't need a Spirit of Companion for an enchantment or Circle of Confinement a lot of the time. We can just make our Reesebug or Dorothea or Patrician Geist um, or even King of the Oathbreakers, we can just make them into enchantments and they work very well with Hallowed Haunting because they're all enchantments. We have one new card, Flowering of the White Tree as well. It's double white for legendary enchantment. Legendary creatures you control get plus two, plus one and have Ward one and non-legendary creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So this deck can get out of hand very fast. We have some new lands in this deck as well. Mina's Tirith, which is uh, ETB's tap unless you control a legendary creature. And we have Reez, but Re uh, we have Rezug and Dorothea, and we also have Katilda and the King of the Oathbreakers as legendary creatures. Uh, and then you can pay one and a white to draw a card and then activate only if you attack with two or more creatures this turn, and we'll be attacking with a lot of creatures. We have Rivendell here, which, um, same thing, as Battlefield Tapped unless you control a legendary creature. It adds one blue mana, and then you can pay one and blue to scry two, and it activates only if you control a legendary creature, which is very easy to do in this deck. Then we have a Baradur, which is... Uh, adding black mana, or you can pay XX in black and tap it to a mass orcs X, activate only if a creature died this turn. So you can just like hold this up until your opponent has a removal spell or a, uh, a sweeper, and then you can just make a big amass token. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the matches. I just realized that we have a swamp and an island in this deck instead of double instead of double planes for restoration of Ganjo. So I'm going to change that right now. Planes, give us the planes. Thank you. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the matches, and it all starts right now. Halfling. Just confinement that, I guess. Not what that card does, but it's pretty good, I think. Well, I just got punished by playing a land first. Seek a land and put it on the battlefield? Okay, I don't have an answer to that. I pretty much have to buy Ganjo here, but it's just so bad with our mana. Could I just block with Spirit Companion and bring it back and draw a card? But I can't do that until two turns from now. So I'll just take the four here. Circle. That gets rid of the back alley gardener.
I wonder if they have Beseju. Oh yeah, they keep the mana and it turns black. It's kind of crazy. What is that card? Destroy up to three other non-land permanents. Oh, no. That's not good. How am I finding alchemy? It's a... It's okay. Attack with Omnath, please. No, they won't because it's too bad of an attack into these cards. Well. I needed them to attack with Omnath so I could use that Gondro, but they made me a 3-3 so they didn't attack. Uh. All right, so whenever one of my things gets targeted, it phases out. Wow. Just kidding. Oh, that was so strong. It turns off my Aganjo too. I needed the legendary in play. Wow. That was really strong. I've drawn like three lands in a row too. All right, I need my opponent to not have a bomb, and then we're okay. That thing is pro creatures. Can't do anything about that. And then we'll try to deal two damage to them somehow. Does that get there? No clue. I guess we could just take the Pippin and that's pretty good for us. Regardless. And then hope they don't have a bomb. Don't have a bomb, don't have a bomb. Ooh, the Omnath with the floating mana is really good with those uh, cycle lands. Oh yeah, Reese Bug's a legend. 
I could have like gone to it anyway. Fair. All right, so I attack all. I go to blocks first. I have to block with Reese Bug, unfortunately. I should have like ganjo before blocks in case they have some kind of hex proof. Let's go! There is a delighted halfling. Make all my things enchantments. Forsaken crossbows, that's not that's a card that I'm not playing. I could be playing that. Alright, let's go black market connections. Because I'd, I'd like to make a treasure next turn. Unless they have Besaju. I'll walk them a land anyway. That's the whole reason I played the Black Market Connections. I'll just take a land. Volcanic Spite, huh? I figured they had that card. There was a debate on whether that worked and a Watsi ruling committee member was asked and they said they don't know. Well, the lore counter finishes resolving, right? And then the card comes back and then the, the saga leaves. So I guess it would work. Let's play King of the Oathbreakers, I think. No. It's more mana efficient to go this plus black market. I love black market in this deck because it, it uh it's an enchantment that makes spirits. That card is gonna sack those and put two lands into play. Treasure, draw, make a 3 2. So we go. Question is are we going Geist or are we going Restoration? I think I'm going to go Restoration, add a land, play King. It works, just got the confirmation. Nice! We, we could definitely do that. Topiary Stomper, okay. They didn't use the, half, the Halfling? Guess we have an easy double block here.
What is in my graveyard? Make a treasure draw card? I don't need to make a treasure this turn. So I'll just draw a card. Make a make one of these. And then I'll discard and put Riz Rizug into play. Well, I guess I don't want to play the king, right? Because it's legendary. Also, this deck could play the, the phase out card. Let's play this first. One thing I didn't know to know until today about black market connections is that you have to choose one. You can't just choose none of them. Berry Stomper without using a factory. It's a good one. I guess I will just... I guess I can afford to draw a card here. A good one. If this blocks this, Well, this walks this, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. I'll just attack all and hope they don't have removal. Or a way to ramp. If they have a way to ramp like right now, which is probably impossible, they can't win. Nice. We got them. What is this? Ent Draught Basin. Artifact, put a woman counter on a creature with power X. Activate only as a sorcery. Alright, so let's go with... Restoration. I don't think I'm ramping. I don't have a four mana play. I could just Odawara the Spiegel. But I don't think I want to do that. With Restoration again. It might be just a sacrifice deck. Mm. 
non-basic landwalk. Oh, that's funny. So we'll discard this again. We'll play this. This and this attack with two things. Does it pay four just to put one counter on something? See if they have go for the throat or something. Infernal grasp. Another Infernal Grasp. So I think I'm going to go Katilda plus Hold Up Odawara. And because of our all of our spirits, our Katilda is like super beefy. We can even we can even Odawara the mini parting. Search for a basic land reveal, put in your hand, make a food, okay? We we can even we can wait even wait for this to attack and then Odawara the Lorian brooch and then block it with Katilda. Actually seems busted. Well, that was impressive. I mean, they didn't do much, but it was still impressive. What are we doing with this hand? Mulliganing? Ali Eldrazi again? That can't be good. Can't be good for us. Satsuki the living lore. What is this? Put a lore counter on each saga you control. When this dies, return a saga or enchantment creature you control to its owner's hand. Return a saga from your grave to your hand. Are we going companion or Rezug? We're going companion. Let's play out wedding announcement and get it leyline binding. Sea Chrome Coast. All right, that's not another Leyland Binding. That's good for us. Now that Jesse isn't here, it's really nice to see Watsi pay some attention to content creators. 
Oh, yes. 100%. I mean, you never know. He could just be lurking. Just open the way card's pretty good. Treasure, draw, 3 2. Unfortunately, we're going to get swept. We did not get swept. I ganjo my 4-3. How about my 7-7? Seven, seven? I guess I could play this Rezug. It's really bad if he has a sweeper, but he didn't have one last turn. Please don't top deck it. That's a Tom Bombadil. And a Fable. Oh yeah, that card's still... That card's legal. Why is Fable on the board? Because it's legal. I could have legend ruled Katilda and then played it from the grave, but... Let's go. Enchantment Spirits for the win. All right, Jamers, thanks for hanging out. We did make a few changes to the deck as we were playing, as we put in Black Market Connections. Not only is this an enchantment for Hallowed Haunting to make a bunch of spirits, but it is a card that makes more spirits with making three, two colorless shapeshifter creature tokens with Changeling. And whenever we're against decks that are not as fast, we can do all the modes, make a treasure draw card and make a three, two, as you saw against Ali Eldrazi there. We have a super fast clock sometimes with Katilda and Patrician Geist, and we changed out um, the Circle of Confinements with Ossification, and we changed out some of the lands for basic lands, and we can even get basic lands off Restoration of Aganjo, because there was a time where we played against the Shieldred and couldn't deal with it, and um, we also just couldn't deal with like a, a few things that were just over over three mana. So we decided Ossification was just better, and yes, it's a better card. So anyway, thank you for hanging out. Subscribe and like the video if you do like this kind of content. I've never, I don't think I've ever built an Esper Spirits deck before, so this is the first one for all of you. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with this, with this uh, new early access uh, video, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.